Hey folks, it's uh, Mike Face here from Non-Trivial Trivia. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm the one who does this, this account, so yeah, it's interesting, eh? Yeah. So I uh, thought I would explain what this account's about, uh, how it started, and what we got planned. So uh, welcome here. Okay, so back in May, I saw the protests in Minneapolis on the news, and I learned that once again, an uh, unarmed black man had been murdered by the police, and uh, the protests spread across the U.S., across North America, across the world. Uh, and I realized uh, that the world can't go back to uh, the way it used to be um, and that it's not okay with me for things to remain uh, the way they are. Um, and if I'm not okay with things to remain the way that they are, uh, it means it's not okay for me to re remain the way uh, that I am. And uh, the, the world's going to change, everybody in the world's going to have to change, right? So. Um, I figured that out, but I didn't really know what that means on a practical level uh, to a privileged white uh, dude up here in Canada. Um, I'm still working that out, and it's it's coming together a uh, little by the little. Uh, oh, later, uh, a tweet from Drew Brown uh, pops across my timeline. Uh, if you don't know uh, Drew Brown, uh, at Drew Brown Music on Twitter, give him a follow. It's worth uh, following because I followed him, so I got this tweet right. You don't want to miss these. Yeah, it's a good, good account to follow. Uh, I know Drew from his time here in Winnipeg. Uh, he served in my church. Uh, my church is uh, on the wider side, and I appreciate uh, Drew's perspective as, as a black man with insight into my culture. So uh, his, his tweet was a link to a podcast, uh, a conversation on racism where he was a guest. And that episode was uh, what I needed when I needed it. So Drew, th thank you. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, I listened to it four times, I ordered the books you recommended, and started unpacking all the bombs uh, you dropped there. So there's lots of info in that podcast. Uh, give it a listen and I'll be happy to discuss uh, the whole thing with you one-on-one -on -one or anything that interests you. Uh, there's one, one bit that I want to focus on here. Um, Drew was asked for advice to white people about being a good ally, uh, about not getting in the way but not being silent. Um, and one of the things he said was that uh, listening is always good. You know, listening to the stories of our black siblings. Uh, and that, that sunk in. So I was, uh, I'm on Twitter quite a bit, so I was seeking out black stories to listen to, and being a Twitter uh, addict, that led to a uh, following spree. I just followed a bunch of new accounts. Um, one of them led me to an African-American history course Yale was offering for free. So I dove into that head first, I'm taking notes as things blow my mind so I can read up more. Uh, so that, uh, that got me started. Okay, so fast forward again, um, weeks later, I'm playing an online trivia game. Uh, I met someone at uh, last year's Banjo Bowl, and he does these online trivia nights. So uh, I, normally I don't play trivia games, but uh, it's something to do. you can do together while you're you know, in your homes, uh, while staying apart, because you're all in your homes, right? So. It's great for a pandemic, so I, I've been doing that. Uh, he hosts a game every week. So on, it was Lord of the Rings night. Uh, I lost, but I, I did get up to the top ten. And uh, when the game was over, uh, I was thinking things through, and I came up with the idea of taking a trivia game and making it educational. And so uh, instead of giving uh, folks ten seconds or so to answer, um, if we gave them enough time, uh, to get on Google and learn something, uh, we could have fun and, and learn at the same time. Um, so that's what uh, that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, we're going to cover African American history first, then we'll get close to home, uh, learning from our First Nations. So once we've covered both of those, we'll uh, we'll see what's next and move on to something else. So that, that's what this account's about. Uh, we're here to learn, and we're here to do it together, and we're here uh, to cheer each other on while we do it. So if you're on Twitter, uh, give this account a follow, a follow and start interacting. If you're on Insta, uh, give that account a follow and start interacting. Uh, if you're on Facebook, just find the link below this video and click on it and join our social learning group. Uh, getting great people involved is what will make this a success. So uh, please connect with, uh, with me and please invite your friends. Okay. Uh, on game nights, you'll log into a Zoom call where our hosts will ask multiple choice questions. Uh, Maybe pandemic will be over and we'll do this live at the Goodwill you know, someday, but uh, 
during the pandemic, it'll be online uh, on a Zoom call. So uh, you'll need a PC to do your Googling and an answer the questions over at uh, Crowdper because they'll be hosting the quiz. Uh, once everyone's answered, uh, we'll talk it through together on Zoom and move on to the next question. Okay, if you answer early, you score big. Uh, if you answer late, you score small. Uh, but everybody will get the right answer because everyone's going to have lots of time to uh, do their research. We try to keep the games to 45 minutes or less, so it's not a, a big commitment. Okay, so that's uh, that's uh, what this is. That's how it works. That's why we're doing it. Uh, thanks for listening to the end. Uh, give us a follow on Twitter at non underscore triv or on Instagram at non trivial trivia. Uh, if you're on Facebook, uh, just search the groups for non trivial trivia or click the link I'll be posting as a comment uh, to this video. All right, hope to see you online and uh, thanks for watching.